Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my Leos, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, Virgo energy. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus energy, the Chariot, Cancerian energy, the Three of Wands. One more for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And the Hermit in the reverse, Virgo energy. Under the deck, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Strength card, and the Four of Pentacles. So Leo, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. Um, I feel here that someone is having some issues here, okay? Someone here is dealing with some heartbreak. I'm feeling an energy of codependency here, okay? Like someone relies on the other person for all of their happiness, or perhaps they rely on someone else financially, okay? And someone here is going through it. They're going through it, okay? I feel like someone is making a decision and saying, listen, I'm going to make the decision that's best for myself. I'm going to become more independent. I'm going to stand in my own power. I know that there's something bigger and better out there for me. And with the hermit in the reverse, if you've been going through or your person's been going through, if someone here has been going through a period of being despondent and a little depressed, they're coming out of it. Okay, they're coming out of it. Um, with the Three of Swords and the Strength card, there's a sense of like, I really wanted some thing but my higher self tells me to to stay away from it okay to hold back to hold back um so leo i don't know if you're in that energy it could be that your person's in this energy i don't know let's see what we have going on here spirit messages for my leos please tell me about this nine of swords energy and the unknown card tell me about the nine of pentacles in the reverse please We've got the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. So I feel like there's the sense of anxiety because someone's like, I don't know if I can make it without this person. I don't know if I can stand strong without this person. Um, but you can, Leo, okay? Or whoever this person is. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. I do see a very a new beginning happening here, a very prosperous one, one that can lead to a beautiful Ten of Cups type of ending. But someone here is like, first of all, I don't know if I'm ever going to find an emperor. Someone here may have low self-esteem saying, you know, I don't know if I'm good enough to find someone that fits me. Or, you know, it's just an energy of... You know, I don't know if I'm strong enough to stand on my own two feet or to keep boundaries against this person. Tell me about the chariot. We have the seven of swords. Tell me about the king of pentacles, please. We have the ten of swords and the hanged man in the reverse. I feel like there's a window of opportunity here, Leo, where someone says, you know what? I can do this. I can do the right thing. I can make the right decision and I can stand in my own power. It's all about a, a, having an energy of being stubborn. So someone here is going to dig their feet in and they're going to say, no, this is over and it's time for me to move on with the hang band and the reverse Piscean energy. It's time for me to shut this door and do what's best for me. So what's happening here is We've got the Nine of Cups. So someone's coming into this energy of becoming emotionally independent now. I have my Nine Cups. I got my Nine Cups back, you know, and that's it. You know, I'm only willing to give one cup away to people right now because I, I can emotionally satisfy myself. Or, no, let me rephrase that. I only need one cup because I have my nine cups back. Like all I need is someone to share, share, you know, life with because I am emotionally satisfied myself. So there's an energy that's coming in here, Leo, of I can take care of myself. I can do this on my own. I can please myself. I can make myself happy. I don't need someone else to do it for me. And the key to this, the key to this is being stubborn, getting angry, putting that your foot down and saying, no, I'm not moving. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to need this person. Okay. Tell me about the Three of Wands. 
and the Six of Swords. Leo, I feel like there's a sense of walking away from something that you know just doesn't serve you, Leo, moving towards what you've been yearning for. And by doing this, you're ascending to Empress or Emperor level, or you're going to find the Emperor's going to find the Empress here. Tell me about the Hermit in the reverse and the Three of Wands again. Someone is... Look, we've got the hangman in the reverse, we've got the hermit in the reverse, and we've got the three of wands twice with the six of, of swords. This is all about moving on. This is all about moving on. And here's what's crazy. Look at this. Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Um, before we saw the Ten of Cups under the deck, I feel like you're moving towards something very abundant. I feel like whatever you just got out of or whatever you're leaving behind, this codependent situation that you were in, um, I do feel like it, it was toxic. I feel like perhaps a cycle had to shut out here. But it was like a test or a lesson that had to be learned in order to escalate you to something higher and something better. Okay? Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Messages for my Leos. So we've got the King of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean energy. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. Tell me about my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So we've got the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy, the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Two of Cups. Under the deck, we've got the Emperor and we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel here, Leo, this is the side of the new person. You have attracted an Emperor. So the King of Cups in the reverse and the Moon card. I feel like this is someone that has a lot of hidden emotion for you. So when you first meet this person... Um, I feel like they're going to show you a lot of emotion because the King of Pend the King of Cups, excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy in the upright is someone that um, knows how to control their emotion. OK, and I feel like what we have here is someone that is not used to that, someone that is not used to not being able to control themselves around somebody. So you have an emperor that's coming in here. OK, I'm feeling that um, wants to try that like this this emperor is going to try their best to contain themselves when they're around you but i don't feel like that's possible okay i don't feel like that's possible i feel like this person cannot control like they're trying to hide the way they feel but they can't someone here just has to come out and express how they feel with the judgment card and the queen of swords i'm kind of getting this energy guys of you are in a place where you, I feel like this person sees you as someone that maybe is a little guarded right now because they're coming forward expressing a lot of emotion and you're in this energy of, listen, you know, I, I feel like you're, you're coming off as very judgmental to this person. You're, you're just not ready for all that emotion and you're like just sitting there with your hand up like, you need to relax, homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you know, I feel like this person is kind of scared to be judged by you for being like a, a, a wimp or someone who's too overly emotional because you're kind of in this energy of... I don't want to say being cold. I don't want to say being cold. But Leo, you may be a little guarded right now because you're leaving something pretty toxic behind. OK, so there's just this energy of I feel like you're manifesting an emperor here. OK, because you're sitting here wondering, will I, you know, will I ever find an emperor? Am I ever going to find somebody else? You know, and I feel here that, you know, you manifested this emperor into your life, but you may be coming off as a little cross or a little judgmental or you're just in the process of making a final decision to cut something out of your life and you have someone that's coming in here someone new this emperor ace of pentacles and the emperor okay you have this new person that's coming in that sees you very like put together and not like really willing to like go crazy emotionally and they are trying to get it together and it's difficult for them because they're like i normally don't act like this why am i acting like this right and with the page of pentacles and the two of cups this person is trying to kind of like rein in, in a little bit and you know hey do you want to go out on a date hey do you want to do this but with the two of cups this person's already in love this person's already yours okay you know what i'm saying so uh leo i feel like there's just a sense here of leaving a, a connection that you may have felt like you were addicted to this person you may have felt like um you may have felt like you just um 
just the sense of low self-esteem, not good enough, like relying on this person for approval, relying on this person for happiness, relying on this person for money. With the unknown card and the nine of swords, there's a sense of, I have no idea how this person feels at, about me. I don't know if I'll, I could ever be enough for this person. You know what I'm saying? It's just overwhelming. It's just overwhelming. Uh, here we've got the, I'm not going to take this, but the four of swords, the six of pentacles, the eight of pentacles and the tower. I feel like you're healing from a situation where there was no equal give and take. And as you're sitting here working on yourself, boom, this tower comes in. You end up meeting someone. Does you end up meeting an emperor or an empress? We don't regender in tarot. You guys know that, right? Okay. So we don't regender in tarot. Tell, oh, okay. Tell me about the king of cups in the reverse, the death card in the reverse. I feel like this is someone that does not ever want to lose you here, Leo. Tell me about the moon card. The nine of wands. Yeah, there's someone here that's trying to control how they feel. I feel like this king of cups in the reverse um, is in this energy of I never want this to end. Like someone here knows that this is... Um, like that when they meet you, they know that you are the one. They're going to have an overwhelming surf of, a surge of emotion, and it's not normal for this person. So with the death card, they know that it's never going to end between you and them. Like they, they're never going to allow this to end. The judgment card, the seven of cups, and the page of swords. I feel like... I feel like this person with a judgment card, they don't want you to think that they're crazy. They don't want you to think that they don't want to overwhelm you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they don't want to, when this person like talks to you, they're afraid of telling you the truth kind of because they're afraid of being judged by you. Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This person sees you as the one. They see you as pre -empress. They see you with the Three of Pentacles as a teammate. This person is a little intimidated by you, Leo. They're a little intimidated by you. They're a little overwhelmed by you. Um, let's see here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, this person, I feel like they're coming in. Maybe they're going to come in as like a friend. They're a little, they're afraid of rejection with the Four of Cups. Yeah, King of Wands. See, we, look, we've got the King to the Queen of Wands here. We have someone that when they come towards you, they want to be confident in the fact that you feel the same way. Um, so what we have here is someone that generally is able to have control over their emotions. And when they're around you, they just don't seem to have any control. You know, they know that they don't want things to ever end with you. They know that um, you are the one. And maybe that's very happening very quickly here, Leo. But they don't want to appear crazy to you. So they may not just come out and say that. With the Two of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the King of Wands, they want to make sure that you feel the same way and that you want this relationship too, okay? I do feel like this is someone new. Um, for others of you, I mean, it could be that it's someone that's coming back from the past. Yeah, it could be, um, but I don't think so. I feel like when the past comes back, we've got the Six of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like when the past comes back, you're going to block them because you have met this emperor, because you you started talking to someone new, because you've met someone new. See, look, we've got the Empress and the Magician and the World. You see what I'm saying here, Leo? You've manifested an emperor, empress type type of connection here, a power couple, divine feminine, divine masculine. And with the world card, you are shutting out a karmic cycle. Okay. You are shutting out a karmic cycle and you manifested this Leo. Okay. Um, spirit to the full card just popped out. Tell me what the challenge here is for Leo, please. Tell me what the challenge here is for Leo, please. The challenge. Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Sun card, Leo energy, and the Six of Cups. Your challenge is going to be when this ex realizes, when this person that you're trying to leave behind, when they realize that you are moving on and that you are happy and that you are maybe even dating someone new, when they find out about this, they're going to be freaking pissed. Okay, this person's going to be 
uh, yeah, they're going to get crazy. They're going to get a little cray cray on you. Okay. They're going to get a little crazy. Um, Capricorn energy. So it's going to be, you know, and that's why I feel like with this new love, you're going to be a little bit like, you know, uptight around them because you have a lot going on. You're still in the process of making the final decision to cut out the past. You're still in the process of cutting something out of your life. Um, spirit, talk me about the outcome here, please. We've got the Empress in the reverse. We've got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse under the deck, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like the outcome here is you're leaving something behind here, Leo, because you've got nothing left to give to it. Someone here is a liar, a cheater. They are not a teammate. They're not willing to work with you. Um, and if they do say that they want to work things out, you know it's a lie. Um, you know, the Empress in the reverse has hit a wall. Run dry. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm done trying to build something that's never going to last. You know, the Empress is a master manifest. And someone's coming to the realization of this doesn't work. It's not going to work. You know, you're not serious about this connection and I'm done trying to make this work. Okay. Spirit, talk to me about Leos, please. Tell me about my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Pay attention to the red flags. In the reverse, the signs are cautioning you and codependency. You see, you have to make the decision right now, Leo, to... Um, wake up. You're not looking this, at this as a red flag, okay? You can either choose to acknowledge the truth that you have become codependent on somebody, seeking someone's approval, needing them in your life for emotional happiness, for financial support, or just for your own self-esteem to, to have that pick-me-up, okay? Like someone here sitting around craving someone's approval or a compliment or a pat on the head or a hundred dollars. I don't know what you need from this person or vice versa, what they need from you, but someone here is in a very codependent dependent energy and you know very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now um there's an energy of are you going to choose to acknowledge this or not do you understand spirit what messages do we have here what messages do we have here for my leos um i feel like you have not allowed your friends and your family members to come towards you to help work this out if anyone tells you about this you just ignore it you don't want to hear it spirit tell me about my leos please we've got worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and chemistry you are magnetically attracted here so i feel like you um manifested something and divine timing is coming in now drawing you towards someone drawing you towards someone and what's happening here is with give your relationship a chance in the reverse you're being drawn towards someone new you are no longer willing to give someone a chance you are no longer willing to make the effort Yeah. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Leos? Any other messages? We've got deception. Yeah, you know someone here is a liar and you're loving yourself first. Ooh, you've got a soulmate coming in that is going to lead to possibly marriage, emperor and empress level. Um, yeah, Leo, you're, you're letting go. There's something so much better. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.